Okay hey guys, this time we've got mail call and then something from Whatnot that I got from JC Comics. I'll go over that in a minute and wow, I was a head boy. First of all, we have a second box this week from Mattel. It's one or two items in here. It's either the club cards I showed on another video or a... It's the club card I showed on another video. It's another club car. Yikes. Bloody. <laughs> I don't know where my truck is. I have a truck on the way too. I want the damn truck. The truck's like two months late and I'm getting sick of waiting. This is a short off again. This is the uh, 1972 Skyline HTGTR. Might open one of them. You never know. I really need a better camera. Anybody want to A OK me a better camera or have an old camera they don't use anymore? This little camera sucks beans. So we have that. And I already show off one of those in another video or you're watching this video and you're seeing it for the first time. That is the club car. I haven't looked lately, but they may be making a ton of them. I bought two accounts this year. I'm kind of getting back in the Hot Wheels. Okay, the other item we have is something I picked up at Disneyland in the Star Wars area, of course. So I went. I'm thinking about going in about two years again, maybe. We'll see. The prices are a little ridiculous, but we kind of want to go again. I think I'm just do one day in the park. Do what we like to do now that we've been... Okay, this will take me a minute to let's back up, set this up. If you're in one of our chats, you know what this costed. This came out of Olga's Canteen. So, ah, that is the holder for it. We have, of course, drinks at Olga's Canteen. So, Rancor, I'll hold it up when I'm done with it. Basically, there's a, it's a four, it's a four beer tasting. Uh, thing you get. We won't go into how much it is. The beer my wife liked. The first two didn't like the last two. I'm not a big beer drinker anymore, so you get little raincore teeth. I don't tell you what number goes where, but you just kind of fit them in. I'll hold it up before we die. It's going to be a display piece for my wall for now. Of course, you really can't. I guess you could drink out of them if you really wanted to. Okay, this one opens totally differently. Oh, now they're all opening the same way. But for now, they're going to go up my thing. I don't know if all the teeth are exactly the same. We'll find out in a moment. But pretty cool. My guy at, uh, where is it, at GameStop wants this set pretty bad. I'm like, well, what do you got? <laughs> but now my wife wants to keep it, so I'm okay with that. No big deal. Yeah, it looks like they're all the best. They're pretty much a four. You get four shots of beer. They're small. I mean, it's probably about three ounces. It's like a tester thing, but you get to take a brand new one home. No, you don't take the one home you drink in. Still. Kind of nice. It's the Rancor Teeth. <clears throat> Goes along with some other Rancor stuff you do there. So my favorite thing we ate there, at least in that area, was the, uh, oh God, I forgot what it was, the, the hot dog. The Bron um, Bronto, whatever. So that's it, guys, for this one. Uh, it's just a small little item. I'm going to hold on to this box. But basically, they bring it out to you like that. And you get your Rancor teeth. And it has beer inside of it. You can probably put whatever you want inside of it. So for now, I'd say put it over there. We're going to put it down back here. We've got a lot to open. This I'm hoping. <clears throat> we'll go over JC Comics. Follow them on whatnot. I'll try to remember to put the stuff below. So, ooh. Now this was two mystery boxes. And safe to say, it's pretty hefty. We're not going to go how much I paid. If you guys watch the thing, you know how much I paid. You had a chance of getting the first appearance of Shang-Chi in 8.0. That was the main reason. It was a 1 out of 32 shot. <sighs> i got to definitely stay away from whatnot. This was harsh. I don't know if he's going to put the two boxes. You guys can see everything I got. One box had a lot of books in it and some pretty cool books. The other box only had very bad boxes. I got to pick a slab. So I did get a slab out of this. And I kind of want to keep it, but I kind of don't. Kind of up in the air on that one, so we'll see. I don't know how he put everything together. How he is. No, he put everything in one box. Except for the slab. So what we're going to do is we'll go over the slab last. Crap up later. The slab will go last. I know what it is. Not a surprise, but I don't remember most of these books. Uh... I know there's some signature stuff in here and some pretty cool stuff, 
might go to CGC, might be a prize in a mystery box. I really like the rate CGC things go back. All my collectibles. Yeah. We're not going to say how much I paid. <laughs> he only has box 15 on here, but there should be two boxes in here. So we will. <coughs> Nicely packed as usual. You know. I think Neo was on there. A bunch of people. What is that? Uh, why is my thing freaking out? Okay, I have no clue why it's freaking out. Old computer needs to sometimes it also die. A lot of the stuff, guys, is not a lot I collect. So, we're looking at mystery boxes. You're trying to get one thing out of it, and if you don't, you're going to end up getting rid of a lot of it in other mystery boxes. There's some cool books in here. You guys will like them if I use them as prizes. So, so let's see. The first, he has at least some stuff on here. Tell what they are, I think. Uh, let's see. There should have been, I don't know what side's what. It's got prices on, which is always helpful. At least for me. I'll be double checking them, but a lot of this might end up in mystery boxes. What is this thing going fucking nuts for? I don't know why this is going nuts. Just shut up. Shut up already. Okay. Now, remember this is... What is it doing? There's nothing happening on my screen. There's nothing being pressed. Who knows? You got me on that one. Hopefully it stops. I'll reboot the system when I'm done doing this. These videos will go out in a week or two, just depending. I don't have much stuff coming. So there's not a lot. I hope we still have, we'll have enough content to do two, week, two books a week. But as of right now, I ain't got crap coming. So this is in the... Okay, they taped them weird, so hang on. It's going to be a minute. He has price tags on a lot of these. I'll have to figure that part out. He taped up two different boxes together, and it's kind of messy to get undone. So, sorry about this. I can tell you which box is which. Okay, I know what that one is then. Okay, so that is the... This, I don't know the prices on a lot of these. This is the uh, box... Okay, one box here, one box there. I don't know a lot of these. There's prices on them, but you also got to pick a slab, so my slab is at least... It was the most expensive slab up there, but I kind of wanted it. You'll see why. It's not. It's becoming down when it comes to specs, so I don't know if I'm going to keep it or make it a grand prize on something. I got too much stuff waiting on CGC or I would have had grand prizes a while back. Okay, this was the first box I got. had no slab in it. So... We're going to do that one for, well, no, let's do the, the slab one's the smaller box. It only had like five, ten books in it. doesn't really matter. This one came with the slab. This is marked, uh, pretty good shape, Daredevil, Man Without Fear, 55, uh, David Mack cover, Echo cover. I don't think it's worth much. This one is, congrats, you just found a Texas Crew comic slab. Yeah, okay. Uh, origin of... I can't, I can't read the handwriting. Sorry, guys. This is the Trial of Ant-Man number one. No, it's not. This is Doctor Strange number 17. Origin of somebody. I can't read the... doesn't really matter. These are not going to be higher level ones. First Darren... First Darren Cross as Yellow Jacket, $10 to $15. Next one, first team up... Uh, Appearance of the Protectors. This is Totally Awesome Hulk number 16. <clears throat> uh, first Great Lake Avengers. Nuts. Yeah, it's got some spine text. We're talking like not much. I'd say about a five buck book. Great Lake Avengers. Great Lake Avengers. What the hell is that? Last book out of this one has no notes. Just Invincible Iron Man number nine. So I don't think any of these are major keys. Looks like a Mandarin crossover. The slab will go over last. These are pretty much, no offense, throwaway books to me. Now this was a cool box. This we ended up with a bunch and I saw these, I'm like, nice. First one, oh, is this, um, I don't want to put this over, sorry. There's a reason I'm doing that. First book up. I don't know it. Why is this thing? Okay, I'm not touching anything on my computer. It's making weird ass noises. Whatever. Uh, Skybound. Can't wait to see. Who cares? Robert Kirkman. Die, die, die. Number 14. I know nothing about this book. 
So next up, fourteen ninety nine, signed. It's a, why are you doing this to me? Is there anything touching anything? Hang on. I'm gonna double check everything here. I don't see anything touching anything. I don't know what's making that. The, as far as I know, everything's recording fine. Okay. Um, no, that's not it. This was a bunch of signed books I got. Uh, LS, last sold, not signed, and without bonus sketches. Okay, hang on now. Let's pause this. Okay, no idea what's going on. I shut down some windows. This is Dark Horse Presents number 102 Aliens, signed by Bernie Wrightson. So there's your signature by Bernie Wrightson. And then we have another signed Dark Horse number 101, signed by Bernie Wrightson. But then you have this little book in back. I don't know what it is. Uh, looks like a... We're still making those noises and nothing's touching anything. So I'm royally confused what the hell's going on. I'm going to have to figure this out. Okay, well, we'll just let it go then. Uh, Bernie writes in, he's got an axe. Looks like a um, for Ashcan edition signed by him. I have no clue. It says it has sketches on it. So I'm going to leave all these three together for now. Until I can figure out what I'm looking at. So that was a cool book out of this one. Next up was an X-Men. This is the keeper out of the bunch. Uh, X-Men 258, I can tell you, it definitely looks like a Jim Lee signature, and I don't know who the other one is. I can't tell. There's no COA with it, so I'll just keep this for myself since I don't know. What the, I have no clue who the signatures are. Next up, we have Yusagi Jimbo number one, certified Stan Sakai signature. So we have a Stan Sakai signature. I don't really collect oh, you saw you Jimbo but hey Stan Sakai is probably a hard one to get a hold of definitely a fun one next we have an would you just shut up you stupid computer next one we why are you beeping so damn much there's nothing happening hang on let's just shut all these damn windows I'm really Starting to piss me off. Okay, everything on here is shut down but the picture and that, I think. No? The camera's going. Yeah, I know. I'm wasting time. Sorry. Not trying to. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on with this system. I'll reboot it from anyway. Oh, well. And if, I don't know what the purpose of this one. The <clears throat> Venom number six. I don't think I had that cover. Cool cover. Here, this one's marked at $20. And it is King Spawn, the sketch edition. I don't think I have this one either. Next one, this is marked at $20. Undiscovered Country, oh, the Certificate of Authenticity. Signed, I guess. Oh no, it's just Undiscovered Country with a ticket <laughs> authenticity. Okay, next one's marked at $20. Ah, Canto number two. Very cool book. I got this one out of, uh, or I got one, Canto number two out of, uh, book from what's his face oh well. here is a $40 marked it is daredevil number 160 this is the frank miller cover and then the final one that came in this one and this is the one i don't know and it came in a nice baggy canto number one do we get it done or not do we send it out to be it has the it has the ding in it so more like it's gonna be a prize it has the bottom ding that all of them came with so this will probably be a prize in a uh, mystery box Oh well, there's a lot of ones that have the ding in the bottom corner right here. That's just how they came. It was a problem with them. So that's probably a mystery box. Now you guys are probably wondering what the slab is. So let's get that done with. So let us figure it out. The slabby. I got to pick. And there was a Mimoko cover that uh, went for somewhere in the range of four or $500. I don't know why it would. But this was my... Kind of one I might want to keep and might not want to keep. So let us see what it is. Oh. <laughs> Multiple baggy things. I know what it is, but this will probably end up being. Yep, there it is. <sighs> Amazing Spider Man 361. Signed and sketched by Mark Bagley. Can see the Spider-Man sketch right there. 
This is the one I wanted. There was no last sold price. I can't even find it for him signed and sketched. But of course we know first appearance of Carnage, right? First full appearance of Carnage. So this might come up as a prize in my next GP, I think. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll have these up as soon as I can. Have a nice night.